hey guys, and welcome to another one of our Overwatch Hero Guides. Today, we're going to be doing Soldier 76. So, Soldier 76 is left mic, is an assault rifle. It, it, uh, as you shoot for longer, it becomes less accurate, but it always remains fairly accurate. Uh, tap firing it is probably the most effective way to remain accurate altogether. Uh, it does a 34 damage headshot uh, and a um, 17 damage body shot. So, you're going to be able to six shot squishies very effectively. Next, we got his right click ability, which is his helix rockets, which uh, do 120 damage uh, and are if, uh, very much equivalent to Ferris rockets. Um, next, is uh, his ability is to sprint. This is a non recharge ability, and he can sprint anywhere, but whilst he's sprinting, he cannot shoot until he stops sprinting, and he cannot use his helix rockets. Uh, next up, his E ability is a little health kit, it heals very quickly. Um, and is very useful and makes uh, Soldier very versatile. Uh, next up, we have Soldier's Ultimate, which is the um, aim lock. So as long as he's as he's in the circle, I'm going to be hitting him wherever I'm looking uh, within uh, around. Like as long as he's in the circle, basically. However, it will not aim lock onto the head. It will just aim lock into center mass. So if you're in a position where you maybe you could land quite a few headshots, it might not even be quicker to to kill him with the with the um, ultimate. However, there you saw that when he uses the ultimate, he gains an orange glow around his head and it becomes very obvious that he's using the ultimate. It is not very effective against tanks and it will not go through Reinhardt's shield. It can be reflected by uh, Genji's ultimate and that's what you need to know. <laughs> so this time we'll be talking about Soldier. So Soldier 76, he is effectively the you know every FPS player is recognizable for he's a you know he is this assault rifle a medium amount of damage good DPS overall there's these rockets which are actually very powerful they are equivalent of Pharaoh's rockets but you know they have a longer charge time and he has a sprint a sprint classic FPS thing being able to sprint everywhere and be able to get to objectives faster I mean it's it's surprising how how effective it really is and he is, he is designed to be the introductory character for Overwatch. He has a self-heal as well, of course. He is a self-played character. He doesn't need, he doesn't rely on others, but he also doesn't offer things to other characters. He has to re he plays it on his own. He plays it on his own. And if you're a Mercy that's supporting a, a soldier or some sort of, if you're Reinhardt and you're really focusing on shielding in front of the soldier, you're, you're wasting your time. Because the whole purpose and point of the soldier is that he can do everything himself and that, that that's what makes him so good when he is played well is that he's doing all the work he's doing he's just he is a great character for a sixth character when you've got everything covered if you got your if you got your one or two tanks if you got your um healer and then you've got your dps hybrid healer and you've got your two offensive characters maybe one lurking character or one normal offensive or maybe you got your lurking character and your defensive player you got this soldier very generic offensive player he can handle himself very well. He doesn't require the healer's attention. Maybe this is a perfect setup if you only got one dedicated healer. Maybe you just got that one Lucio on your team. So this, you have this second guy. He's not really a hybrid healer. He's more a DPS to hybrid healer. Yeah, I think Soldier. He just adds to the gen, like the whole caliber of the team. You know, he's not going to be able to just take on a tank on his own. You know, he, he won't be able to do that. So he, he's just going to be adding to the DPS of the team. Which hopefully will already be there, and he, he's always going to be a, a good asset to the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, yeah. M much as you were saying, he's adding in more bullets into the into the rain, isn't he? Yeah. He's adding in. If you consider, maybe you have this defensive character, maybe it's your bastion. Maybe you have this, this these two tanks. Maybe it's some sort of uh, Reinhardt, sort of um, Roadhog Reinhardt uh, Zarya combo. You know, there's a lot of fire going down range at this point. You know, you got uh, you got a Lucio. He doesn't even have to think about his healing. He's just clicking away with his sort of weak weapon there. But you just got a mass of bullets flying down range, and it's very, very, very important that you have these things because then you're suddenly, suddenly the tanks that are coming out of the, the uh, from the enemy, you know, that they're, they're they're going down surprisingly fast, and you're all shooting at them, aren't they? So. You know, he, he adds to the DPS of the team. He's not the highest DPS because obviously I would give that sort of medal to to a Reaper Roadhogs kind of thing, where they they can almost one shot, two shot you. Mm. That's very very fast. But he's he's a great mid to long range DPS character. He's quite comparable, comparable to um, someone like Pharaoh, really. 
Yeah, yeah, putting that fire down range, yeah. doing quite a lot of damage, but not being the the ultimate DPS character, because with because there is no ultimate DPS character in Overwatch. There's a lot of drop off for all the characters that have the highest DPS, but he's a very good middle ground. He can do long range if he's being sniped at. He can re he can retaliate if he can do mid range against you know maybe who who he's probably a strong mid range player. That's his that's his ideal playing ground. Him and Farah really controlling the mid range area. Sort of maybe uh, you'd put something like a Winston being a good close range character. He can really distance himself with that sprint. I mean, and you know he's got that self heal. That self heal is a big important part of playing a, a good soldier game, and it's what it's what differentiates him and Farah. Because Farah otherwise would look so much better, wouldn't she? She's got that massive rockets. They do 120 damage each. There's a two shot on a squishy. You know. A soldier's got something like a 34 damage headshot with a, his assault rifle. That's not. That's not. I mean, that's not good enough. That's a. That's a six shot on a character. Yeah, so he, he relies on his fully automatic. His, his is that, yeah, he relies on that 25 bullet short reload, putting all that fire down range. Yeah, he's got that rocket. He's got that rocket for in, just almost in case kind of thing, and he's got that self heal. But uh, so aside. But aside from the self heal, he'd be a lot weaker than a Pharah. Where he comes in better than a fair in some senses is that self heal. He has no reliance on other teammates, and when you're considering that often him and a fairer in the way that they're comparable will be playing sort of a very outside, not close to the team role, and you know fairer might not be getting that dedicated healer because she's playing a bit further out, a bit above people, sort of shooting down at them, being sort of. Yeah, she's out been more way. responsible for what she's doing, I guess. Yeah, is that exactly. In the same way that Soldier isn't going to be have a dedicated healer following him around, Fair might well be the same. Of course, there is the Mercy Fair combo that sometimes happens, but it's rare these days. So, with Soldier, he's a self-controlled, uh, able character, but you know if he has a sprint, but it's not the movement that Fair has, and that's the trade-off you're making: damage per second and movement with Fair over good uh, medium damage per second. Plus self healing with the soldier, and that and that is that is the trade off you're, you're making. Also, you got to consider, Farah's ultimate is better than his ultimate, but he's of course a great great all round player. He's a great all round player. That, yeah, that he's not ultimate. It's not, it's not it's, yeah, the ultimate isn't a, by any means a bad ultimate. Yeah. In the way that I might consider Widowmaker's ultimate to be one of the worst ultimates in the game in in terms of in terms of impact in any sense. Yeah. Whereas you know he's got that. The aim lock can be very helpful. It's very, very effective against squishies in particular. For instance, uh, you, a tracer. I mean, tracer. What is her blink? Her blink is useless when he can aim lock you. It's same for. It's mostly against high movement characters. Pharaoh is the same. He's very good at taking out a Pharaoh with that ultimate. Uh, but you have to be relatively accurate with him. He has automatic fire, of course. But you know, you you have to land quite a few hits to kill them. So you have to still be quite accurate. And and that is effectively the most most important sense of being a good um, a soldier player over being a good fair player is that she's got a bit more reliance on that sort of sort of um, splash damage as well. 